Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Today's program about American goldfinches was inspired by uh, just the really uh, strong increase in activity of the goldfinches at my feeders here in the last oh, week or so. Um, goldfinches are fascinating birds. They're, they're one of America's favorite songbirds, obviously. They, you know, the nickname Wild Canary comes to mind. Uh, these, these gorgeous bright yellow birds. Um, the picture on the screen is of a male uh, who is in breeding plumage with his bright yellow plumage and the black cap on him. Um, and they, are, the males have been the stars of the yard for the last oh, month or so. And the reason they've been uh, much more numerous than the females is because the females have been out nesting. See, here's a nice uh, shot of a female. Um, she doesn't have that, uh, and of course this is winter plumage as well, but she's much duller, uh, And but she's been in the nesting mode. Uh, they're, the gold, American goldfinch is one of our very last latest nesting songbirds we have. Um, they wait until a lot of times mid-July before they start their nesting cycle. And why would you do that? I mean, chickadees have probably already nested twice. Downy woodpeckers have probably already nested twice by then. Why? What is the advantage for the goldfinches for nesting that late? Well, uh, it, it all has to do with the habitat in which they have evolved with, and that is the open fields, the uh, field edges, the, the American prairie, the, 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 those wide open spaces. Um, the, their, their food supply, their favorite foods come from there, are a lot of the, you know, the, the seed producing flowers, like the, the, the purple cone flower, uh, this female feeding on that head there, and they, they love these seed sources. And they, this, the, for grasslands, their, their seed, now, uh, nature's bounty, comes starting now. And that is whenever a lot of their flowering plants go to seed and they produce a lot of seed heads. And out of my yard, front yard, I've got uh, several uh, purple coneflowers planted in mine and my goldfinches are just now starting to feed on those or pick at them to try to get seeds out of there. But the favorite food, of course, of the American goldfinch uh, is the, the native thistles. And I, when I say thistle, that, of course, tends to cause people to get all antsy because uh, of really it's the non-native thistle, the invasive thistles, the big bull thistles that we see just uh, take over areas um, that get people upset because they, they are an invasive plant. Farmers hate them in their field pastures and things like that. Uh, but native thistles, the, the ones who evolved here, are not nearly that aggressive. They're not nearly that big and they're really great plants. And they, and they do produce that white cottony fluffy top to them and at the end of that little uh, fluffy top at the, at the base of that is the seed in which the goldfinch will pull out and they'll eat that little thistle seed and of course I've done whole programs on the confusion between the, the word thistle and niger or the seed that we sell to feed goldfinches they're not even related to each other so um, the, the the native thistles that the, that the goldfinches love and they've evolved with uh, provide two things. Not only do they provide uh, the, the seed that they need, but also the nice fluffy uh, tops that they like to line their, the cottony tops that they like to line their nest with so they can lay their eggs and keep their eggs safe. Um, so that's uh, there's twofold that they like that. And another fascinating uh, thing about goldfinches, they're one of the very, very few uh, uh, songbirds and, and birds in the area that don't feed their babies insects. Uh, the, you know, morning doves are the other, and we, the morning doves and that whole group of birds, you know, regurgitate pigeon milk, as they call it. Uh, but goldfinches regurgitate uh, the seed that they have eaten in the field and brought back, and it's it maybe a little bit digested, partially digested, but they regurgitate that and give that to their, their fledglings as well. That's where they get their energy from, which is... It, it, that's pretty substantial because almost you know all birds that's their source of calcium for their growing bones um, is, is insects and we've done whole programs on that so uh, the the goldfinch is a wonderful species and it it is so popular at bird feeders but I just forewarning you because they're really active bringing their babies in right now and their babies uh, are very greenish in nature and I could not find a single go, uh, a young goldfinch picture uh, in my 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 whole uh, inventory here, which I was really surprised. But one thing we need, you, you want to know about uh, how to identify a young goldfinch. This is an adult goldfinch, and notice the white wing bars. 
a juvenile goldfinch, one that's just hatched this year, will have very buffy green bars and uh, wing bars. And, and overall, it'll be a, a brownish greenish color. Now, a lot of people will start calling when they see the young goldfinches coming and they think they're early pine siskins because pine siskins are very dark like that. So that can be confusing to folks. But the, the, the baby, I've seen a couple of babies at my feeders here in the last day or two. So they are starting to fledge. Those early goldfinch nests are, are, are getting out and they'll bring them into your feeders. And they'll teach those young babies, you know, this is a great source of food and you, you can feed on these later. But what's going to happen is, oh, in the next month, I'll get it is without fail. I'll get calls from uh, customers saying, "Where did all my goldfinches go?" Did he? And a lot of people, whenever those birds leave and and, and le go absent from your feeder in the late late summer, in the early early part of fall, they think, "Well, they're gone for the year and they don't come back until the spring." That's not true. What they're doing is they are reacting to nature's bounty, and that is all the na native seeds that are coming available to them and they move out into the field. So they don't actually leave our area, they just they just change habitat and they don't come to the feeders nearly as much. And they'll be out there feeding and so when you're out bird watching, you'll see lots of goldfinches in the right places when there's a lot of seed stock for them. And of course, we don't like that at our bird feeders because we don't see them coming to our bird feeders, but mother's na Mother Nature's take providing what they need then. And so while we're waiting for, for them to come back is the trigger of cold weather and that is, you know, the start of goldfinch season is usually mid-November, maybe even all of the early December. It depends on the weather patterns and how cold it gets, and also the seed source. We've had a pretty hot, dry summer, so natural seed sources may be a bit low going into the fall and winter, so they may be back a little earlier than, than we do in most years. But that's the, the kind of that nesting season and what happens after for our American goldfinches, our, one of our favorite songbirds. So. Great group of birds. We, we love them and we, we, you know, enjoy them for the next few weeks and then just be expecting them to leave for a while. But they will be back. Um, they won't be bright yellow when they come back because they'll have molted into their winter plumage by then. And so those goldfinches in, your win in the winter months will all be very dull because you don't want to be bright yellow and get eaten by a predator. So great idea for a program. Send in ideas for future programs. Please give us a like, give us a share, and if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. And until then, we'll come by and talk birds. Two, one. Would you like to learn more about wild birds? You might want to hit that subscribe button.